Hello, YouTube. Sir Ronald checking back in today. That is right. I am smoking a cigar. Ah, it's been a while since I've enjoyed a cigar. I just haven't been in the mood for one. And I'd have to say that this is very good hitting the spot. Let me break it down for you. Let me sh show you what I'm smoking on. We got for you guys today a Drew Estate Under Crown. Let me see. There we go. Under Crown Shade. It had a little little sticker says shade on the bottom. True Estate Undercrown Shade. Very good cigar. True Estate is, of course, the company that owns Acid. They're, you know, Acid by True Estate. And Acid is one of the most popular brands of cigars out there. Which is funny in my opinion because I know a lot of people who do not like acid cigars. They do not like flavored cigars. So the fact that acid is one of the most popular brands out there just is interesting to me just because the people I've interacted with don't like it at all. So I'm going to break it down for you what I'm smoking on. I already told you, it's a Drew Estate Undercrown Shade. What does that mean? There are videos of this being reviewed out there, and you could go watch that. Sure, but you're on my channel, and you're already watching this video, so why not stick in, see what it's about? If you've already had it, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about and exactly why I'm smoking one right now. It's the middle of the day. It's three, oh, it's about four o'clock right now. Beautiful day out here, beautiful weather. I haven't eaten dinner yet, so I don't have a full, you know, stomach, so I'm not going to smoke on a Maduro right now, because my, for some reason, I can't handle that as well as other people. So that's why I went with this Connecticut Shade. I've had one before, and I can tell you a little bit about that in a second here, but first, let me break down the cigar. So I printed out here some information on it and that information came from tntcigars.com TNT Cigars is the website for Tim and Bradley's Cigar Reviews that channel I'm going to have a link up here I've watched most of their videos they're great entertaining they're funny they do great reviews lots of cigars they offer great deals check them out go to that link also down in the description shout out to Tim and Bradley on their website they've got the Undercrown Shade Robusto which is exactly what I'm smoking here it's a 5 by 54 ring gauge and um, Man, that's good. Really good. So they, they kind of give a little description of it because I was under the impression I thought it was a Connecticut shade. Um, and if that's what it's classified under, then, you know, maybe. But it's an Ecuadorian shade. And so I think when you, you know, you're classifying your Connecticut's, how, um, Habanos, you got uh, Connecticut, Habano, Maduro. Those are your main three in there. I think this is, you know, obviously going to fall under the Connecticut factor just because of, I, I, I don't know. I was told this was a Connecticut. But then I go on their website here, TNT Cigars. The Undercrown Shade is a mouth-watering cigar with some of the finest aged tobaccos the world has. Did it cut off? might have cut off. I think this is zoomed in a little bit. It says some of the finest aged tobaccos the world has to offer, I think. Aged Nicaragua. Yeah, this is cut off. Hmm. The filler is aged Nicaraguan and Dominican filler tobaccos. And the wrapper is Ecuadorian shade. 
says um, the rapper being Ecuadorian shade creates a smooth a smooth I don't know like I said it's I didn't realize this till now but it's cut off here my page must have zoomed in on it once I went to print it so still shout out to Tim and Bradley but this is my fault for that so basically we got the wrapper being an Ecuadorian shade that is why it's called underground shade then the filler inside of here is Nicaraguan and Dominican the binder is Sumatra don't really know what that means so if anyone knows what that means can you comment it below help me out I know I could google it but that's what this is for comments likes subscribes helping each other out being part of the community it says on here that the strength is medium and I definitely can say that is true for it being such a light cigar it is still pretty strong nicotine factor is pretty heavy at least for me probably because all I smoke now if I'm gonna smoke is pipe tobacco and even your boldest of pipe tobaccos you don't smoke as much as a whole cigar so you barely get any you know head rush from it but um the taste is really good I will say I do kind of taste a little coffee I do taste some coffee in there and I don't know exactly but there is a little bit of pepperiness on the after taste. Like, after I blow the smoke out, I get this little bit of spice, this little bit of pepperiness. And that is exactly why I had my first Underground Shade a couple months ago. So back in July, a friend of mine, one of my best friends, Caleb, he's the one who actually got me into the pipe hobby. He was getting married back then. That week before, all of his groomsmen, I was one of them. We went to a lounge. We played poker a lot, smoked a lot of cigars. We did a lot of cigar and pipe smoking that week. Lots of poker. I'm trying to think of how many times. I don't remember, but I think I might have had I don't know. I might. I didn't have too much because I'm a slow smoker. Because I'm a. I'm a. a lot, I talk a lot. That is exactly why I jumped in this video uh, about like almost a third of the way in. Because if I was started it, I would not have even had the the slightest bit smoked by the time the video was over. But I bought him some cigars. Obviously, he was getting married celebration, but he got me on a crown shade one day and said, uh, save this for a time, you know, when you are going to, you know, have a morning smoke or something like that, because it's light bodied, which the strength is pretty medium, but it's a light, it's, it's, it's a light cigar compared to a strong Maduro. And he said, it has a little bit of spice on it from what he's been told. He hasn't had one, but he was told it has some spice on it because he remembers me telling him, I don't like Connecticut's anymore because they all taste the same to me. They're all bland. They all just taste like plain old tobacco to me and I didn't like them. But Maduro is also a little strong for me. So now I have found myself right in the middle with a Habano wrapper. Um, I really enjoy those. It's have a lot of flavor, but at the time I haven't had one of those yet. So he got me one of these guys and said try it it's light but it has some flavor has some spice in it give it a shot so i waited a while and one morning i was off just like today got up early went outside beautiful day so i sat down and lit up the connecticut Ooh, not the connecticut ecuadorian shade the underground shade And I'll tell you what, I smoked that thing all the way down to my fingertips got burned. Had a cup of coffee with me. 
was a little dizzy when I was done. Not gonna lie. Took a second, sat there, put my head back and relaxed when I was done because I did not get up the entire time. But it was the first time that I had smoked anything down to the nub and didn't feel sick. It was also the first time that I smoked something down to the nub and had so much flavor. Now, this doesn't mean that I'm a Connecticut smoker or a light smoker. I still enjoy Habano. One of my favorite cigars and my top cigars is the Kirk Ghost. And that is the literally on the opposite scale. You got this all the way over here. You put that Kirk Ghost way over here. It's a bold cigar, but it's fantastic. Burns well, it's constructed well, and it's Gurkha. So Gurkhas are good. And I'd have to say that the Gurkha Ghost and this Undercrown Shade here, I have kind of made a pact with myself that anytime I smoke one of these guys, either this one or my Gurkha, I am always going to replace it in my humidor. Um, so basically, this means I have to take make a run to the store and buy one of these. I'm not the type where I'm going to buy a whole box of cigars, not even a five pack, just because I don't smoke cigars pretty much ever anymore. So having a variety in my humidor is perfect for me because I always can try something different or you know, if I like something, like I said, I'll buy another one, but <clears throat> it, uh, this one to me, I mean, let's just take a look at it. Let's just take a look how it's burning right now. So it's about a third of the way in and the flavor has changed. I will say that, but you can see here that the burn is very, very, very even. Um, there was a little spot at the beginning that was kind of trying to work its way down, but it got there, and now that it's there, it is burning well. I haven't even had to do a little 360 rotation on this because as the top's burning, so is the sides and bottom. And it's, it, you know, it's constructed so well. It's a very oily wrapper, um, burns very, very slow, and for me, that's kind of dangerous because, like I said, I'm a slow smoker when it comes to cigars. I take my time because I talk so much when I'm with people that if it's a slow burner like this one, I'm never going to get anywhere with it. They're going to be done with their cigars in 45 minutes to an hour and I'm going to be stuck on the first third. But... It's really good. It's a really good cigar. And I enjoyed it so well the first time that, like I said, I told myself, look, I'm going to buy one every time. And the Gurkha Ghost is the same way. The Gurkha Ghost, to me, though, is a little different than this. Because, obviously, besides the fact that they're two different types of cigars, two different flavor profiles, two different strengths, everything about it. That one does something. It just, I don't know. I just I enjoy it so much better. And... To the point where I've actually purchased Gurkha Ghost for friends as recommendations. Because with the large selection of cigars that we have out there, not even just cigars, but even pipe tobacco, it's such a large selection. You'll never, ever use them all. Ever. So, and you'll never smoke everything out there. So that's why I told myself, look, try this Gurkha Ghost. Okay, yeah, man, I will try it. You know what? I'm going to buy you one so that you don't have a reason not to try it. You're going to have it. Even if you don't smoke it anytime soon, it's going to be there. You don't have to remember, oh, Ronnie said try that Gurkha Ghost. Let me go buy one. Because, like I said, say you walk into the store, you look around, and there's so many cigars to choose from, and this guy's saying pick this one up, this guy's saying pick that one up, and you just, you know, you don't know what to grab. You don't have to worry about that you can still enjoy the ghost. To me, it's just such a good cigar. It burns perfect all the way down. Holds the ash. So does this one pretty well so far. And I will say that the ash on this is burning super white. I have had some cigars where it doesn't burn that white. And then the Gurkha Ghost 
also to me it i thought that it was called the ghost because of how white the ash is after it burns the first time i smoked one it was so white it was almost like the white in this in this uh ring over here i knocked it into the ashtray and it was still white even after it broke all the way around it was amazing i was like i've never seen a cigar that clean before so i thought that's why it's called the ghost and i don't know why it's called the ghost that might be why who knows all i know is it's such a fantastic cigar so expect a video sometime i don't want to say soon because you guys are holding me to it i've had a couple comments saying when's the cigar video i've had some messages saying when's the cigar video but the undercrown shade and the kirka ghost to me are just my favorite two cigars because like i said you got if i'm in the mood for a bold cigar i got that one if i'm in the mood for a light cigar in the middle of the day with an empty stomach i've got this tastes very good tastes so good so if you're watching this video and you have not tried this cigar yet go ahead and try it shoot take a take a gamble put your trust in me go to tntcigars.com and buy a five count five counts forty dollars and 28 cents on their website if you go to the store this is a nine dollar cigar nine I might be mistaken. It might be more than $9. But it is not your cheapest cigar. Drew Estate is generally fairly expensive anyways. So you buy five of them. You're basically getting one free if you go through TNT Cigar. So check them out. Take a gamble and get and you know buy some. They're really good. If you are going in you know a walk in the morning or it's just you know, like I said, the middle of the day. You don't, you don't want to, like, you don't want a really, really big full body cigar. This is the cigar you're gonna want to smoke, and you won't be disappointed. It burns well. I'd say about now the the burn is completely even all the way around, and it'll last you a while. You could probably puff on this thing like a madman, and it'll still last you. A little longer than your average five inch cigar the taste is great it holds well it's just such a good cigar I don't know what else to say about it I'm still tasting that coffee I'm still getting that spice it says on there that it has a little bit of molasses touch to it I haven't had molasses enough in my life to really taste that still to know oh that's a molasses touch but i do know that you cannot go wrong with getting a cigar so in a minute i'm gonna come back for you guys instantly i'll be back with a review all the way down to the nub telling you exactly what i think about it telling you my final thoughts telling you how it changes it already has changed up to here the first half was kind of getting into it to me, it was really bold right away, um, but not like not like it should be near the end. And then it kind of got in, I think that was just because I lit it. And then as it got in a little bit more, as you like, kind of where that split in the ashes, it was just more consistently more of a coffee taste. Now in the middle, it's getting a little stronger. The puffs are a little bolder. The taste is more prevalent. And I'm excited to get back down to the nub on this again because, like I said, I only had one of these. And I smoked it till my fingertips burned. So, I'm going to come back in, check back, let you know my final thoughts on it. And I hope by the end of this video, you make a decision to just run to your local tobacconist, local cigar shop, wherever that is. If you're near a tinderbox, they sell them there. If you have a cigar shop that you like, a local one. I'm sure they carry them. It's true estate, they're popular. And if you're at somewhere where you can't or you just wanna do what I said and take a gamble, go ahead and head over to TNT Cigars and pick a five pack up. You won't be disappointed in this cigar. You really won't be. I haven't been. 
And I'm telling you, like, there's nothing bad about this. For about two weeks, I was just talking about this cigar. And a lot of people that I was talking to who like bold cigars, they were like, yeah, whatever, I'm not gonna smoke it, it's too light. And I've had two people who have had tried it. And they, they completely agree with me. So if you're a full body smoker, you'll still enjoy this. If you're a mild smoker, then you'll really enjoy this. But if you just like good cigars, then this is the cigar that you wanna be smoking on in a perfect day like today. After you have your steak and potato in the evening, then pull out your big body Maduro. But for a day like this, this is what you wanna smoke here. So give me a minute or a while to get down to the nub here and I'll tell you my final thoughts. All right, YouTube, back with you guys. Like I said, for you guys, it was just like that. Um, in that time, I accidentally dropped the cigar, damaged it all up. Still working on it here, but you could probably see the wrapper kind of got beat up. I dropped it, hit the ground, wrapper got cracked. Not too happy about that, but it still smokes. I had to caretake it a little bit and just even it out so I could finish it with a good, fin you know, a good last smoke. Got it on my four, my lighter three-in-one tool. There's nothing left in this guy. So, but uh, but yeah, I think this is pretty neat. Another use for the poker tool. So, sometimes it's good to be a pipe and a cigar smoker, huh? So yeah, it's a lot stronger, a lot stronger. It was progressively getting stronger as I was smoking it. Now that I'm down to this bit, I might be putting it out here. I mean, like I said, I dropped it, so that kind of messed up the whole vibe, the whole feel. But it's getting it's getting really strong, and um, getting to that point where. I might have to put it out. Get a couple more draws here of it and I'll be done with it. But um but like I said, Undercrown Shade is a great cigar. And um, if you're in the stores looking for it or you know, look for that sitting right on the bottom of the cigar on the foot of the cigar. That is to, you know, that's their little piece to let you know it's the shade. It's pretty much done as far as I'm concerned, but I enjoyed it from beginning to end. Great cigar, great smoke. Um, like I said, it got really strong. So if you're a guy or gal who likes Full body cigars, try this one out. It's not a full body, but I think you'll be surprised with the punch that it packs. It really sneaks up on you as you're smoking it. In the beginning, it's very pleasant, very mild, very flavorful. At the end, very strong, very flavorful, flavorful, really hits you. So, good cigar. Like I said, it's in my top. I only have two right now that I consider like the top I, out of like, you know, specific cigars. I'll try a cigar, sure, anytime, but the two that I'm going to consistently buy one of. So like I said, after this one, got to pick up another one, keep it in the humidor. That one might have been in there for about two, three months already, just sitting there because I bought it after I smoked that last one. So good smoke, good time, sitting here going through the book of Daniel do a little study on it these aren't all from today but um, this is what I've been you know kind of meditating on the last couple days this is the book of Daniel and um, I've been kind of the way I've been writing my notes in here 
which is kind of like a summary of what I'm reading. And then in here, throughout the summary, are a little like are some notes that things that stuck out to me as I'm reading it. So nothing like sitting back, reading the good word, smoking on a good cigar. Let me see if there's anything left on here. I let it go out. I know you can smoke that down even further, but I'm not gonna finish it all. I mean, to me, that's finished. So, um, so yeah, check that out. Go, um, go pick one of these up. Well, what's left of this? Go pick a whole one up. Get yourself a Drew Estate Underground Shade. If you can't see that. Bring it in. Get you one of these guys. And sit back. Enjoy it on a cool day. On a beautiful weather day. Do it before it gets too cold. It's it's getting into that season where it's starting to get a lot colder. This morning it was 40-something degrees. And it just, like, it went from being really ridiculously hot last week to being really, not really cold, but just, like, it was a lot colder, and I'm excited for this cold weather. Um, I love cold weather. So before it gets too cold, where you you know you're struggling to sit outside without being bundled up with a bunch of layers, get yourself a Drew Estate Undercrown Shade. Sit back, smoke it to the nub, put it on your poker if you got one. If you don't have a poker, there's other things you could use. You can get um, a toothpick. Use a toothpick, figure it out, because you're gonna wanna smoke it down to the nub. So I hope you enjoy this video. This is my first cigar video. Not the last one, but um, I, I, I'm not, I enjoy smoking my pipe a lot better. So most of my videos are gonna be of that. Like I said in my very beginning videos, I'm still trying to think of ideas here of um, other content to bring to you guys. Not necessarily pipe reviews, pipe tobacco reviews, cigar reviews, something a little, you know, different. So far, that's what my channel consists of, and that's great, and you guys love it, and I'm happy you love it, but if you have other ideas, if you have any recommendations, if you have, you know, things you want to see, shoot them in the comments below, and if it's something that I can pull, something I can do, then that's what I'll, you know, I'll try to bring to you guys. Um, but, uh, finally got a cigar video up for you guys. Um, I do intend to bring another one, and I've mentioned this before. My father, avid cigar smoker, he loves cigars. Um, we've got two special cigars we want to do a review to. Maybe have him sit right there, and we'll shoot a video for you guys. That was the plan for my first cigar video, but you guys have asked, and I got you guys. You want a cigar review? I got a cigar review. Soon, you'll get a review of two very special cigars with me and my father. But until that time comes, I hope you enjoy this one. Keep keeping up with the channel. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I hope this kind of, you know, can bring some content to some of the viewers who, who want to see cigar stuff, not necessarily just pipe videos. And, um, you know, give you something else to work with with my channel. Like I said, it's only one video so far, but there will be more. And... And, um, and again, if you got some ideas of some other stuff that's not necessarily smoking re related, shoot them. Uh, if I can do it, I can do it. Um, so, so yeah. Uh, my dog's over there just eating, eating the grass. They say when dogs eat grass, it's because their stomachs hurt. But if you ever, if, if I got to give you a, a picture of what my dog looks like, I think she's eating grass because she's hungry. It's getting about that time to, to feed her, so. There you go. So yeah, to wrap this up, Sir Ronald here brought you a cigar review. You asked, I delivered, and that's what I intend to do for the YTPC, and that's the pipe community, but uh, for the cigar community, is there a YTCC? If not, why not create one? I know there's twice as much cigar content on YouTube as there is the pipe content and um, so I hope this kind of you know can combine the two um, you know viewers who are seeking out cigar videos 
it'll bring us you know bring you into the pipe world to show you what that's about and if you haven't smoked a pipe yet maybe encourage you to try it it's a great hobby it's really enjoyable really relaxing a lot of you know something different than the cigar but it's still something that you're probably really going to enjoy as well so that's all i got for you guys today i hope you enjoyed this like i said and i um if you haven't already which i know a lot of you guys have check out sir douglas i'll put another card up his link is always in my description that's my bro go to his channel hit him up tell him sir ronald sent you like his videos watch his videos he makes great content pipe for thought cigar for thought just um you know things that he's thinking about on his mind like that just have been like he's been meditating on all week things he's you know he's gonna bring to you guys so um check his channel out for sure we intend to make more content together me and him we see that you guys like and, and like really like and enjoy those videos of us two together tag team in this stuff you know bring in smoke sessions between two friends talking about whatever we feel like talking about reviewing things at the time so uh so thank you for all the support you guys have shown and I thought that was it before, but I guess this is really it because now I'm really out of anything else to say. So, peace out, guys. Stay lit, always.